how do you set up, say you're, uh, you're, you're selling something and you want to have a white label service to your, your business. Yep. How do you set it up so that the customer feels that it's all one fluid process? Mm -hmm. Or do you tell them that these guys are white label and... Very good question. Number one, your customers actually care less than you and what you might think. As long as the, the whoever you're doing deal with, they're doing a good job. Customers sometimes they don't care as much. Oh, it's under the same brand as a white label. You know, most people they don't. You know, I just I just want a hole in the wall. What drill? Hmm. Sometimes it's so. Sometimes it's in your mind. You make it as significant as, as it is. Maybe not may not be so significant, mm -hmm. right? Uh, second thing is ideally these type of situations you want to be the one that's in control of the money. You want, to, you want to be the one that's collecting the money and paying everybody else. Um, I like to do like the, the deal I, I did with Joe, I collect the money and I pay everybody else. Because when I collect the money, you have more control and more power. Uh, otherwise, you're kind of always chasing, hey, when am I going to get my check? So when you do this type of deal, the $2, let's say this, this type of deal with JV, I prefer, I collect the money in 30 days or whatever, and then I pay the JV partner. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Good question. Mm. Of applause. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. In fact, let's take two minutes. How long? Two minutes. Just discuss the six types of JVs or maybe what type of JV you think would be appropriate for your business, okay? One, one more question. Let's do it after. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Two minutes, go. Ten times your finances. Ten times your business. Ten times your marketing. Ten times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.